I'm from Lisbon and my parents are, well, my dad's from Porto, my mum's from Coimbra, so I kind of feel like I'm just Portuguese. <laughs> um, and I studied in Lisbon as kind of what is the contrary of what happens here. People kind of study somewhere different where they were born, but the unis are good there, so I, I studied there. I still love going back and I didn't come here because I didn't like Lisbon. I, like, I love it and I know I'll always be back. That's why, also one of the reasons why I wanted to move out because I, I knew it would be way too easy to just stay and have that nice life for a long time. But nice, it's nice, but it's not very, you know, productive in a way. So basically, I always had this, I don't know, I had this passion. I knew I wanted to be in London. I don't know why. Don't ask me. It's one of those things. So when I think I, when I turned 17, I really asked my parents, can we go all oh, as a family? Let's go to London. I really want to move there when I'm, you know, old. So you might as well get used to it. I, I don't know. I had that in my mind. Uh, I moved uh, a bit more than a year and a half. I moved in January. Not last year, but almost two years ago, I yeah. guess. I've always lived with my parents and you know, I love my parents but you need that break and because I was studying there and I started working in Lisbon as well so I was living with my parents as well so only until very late I felt like oh, this is you know I need to do something different I need to go somewhere I wasn't really out when I was there and I, obviously I never wanted to leave because of that but it was also part of it because it was you know I'll, I'll do whatever I want I'll go to London it's kind of new start you know do whatever you want I think they will never judge gay people I don't think people will uh, openly I say it or violently or in a hurtful way but I think being silent is also a problem sometimes and and I think that's mostly what I felt because you know I didn't see anyone that's gay you want to you know to see someone like you and you're like, well, yeah, it's fine. It's, it's, and I think here it's like that. It's not a thing anymore and that's why I liked it. Cause, um, I moved to this place a month ago and there's nothing much on this road. So there is a pub, there's a restaurant, there's dry cleaners, there's a supermarket and there's a Portuguese restaurant. I, I, I swear I didn't move here because of that. I wouldn't do that. But it's, you know, <laughs> there's nothing else but this. If you see my, my, my freezer, my mum got, like, she brought with her a bag just of frozen fish. I don't know how that's legal. Why? Okay, the thing frozen is... Frozen fish. <laughs> so it's literally a fish and another fish. Actual fish. Oh, maybe we have some cabbage, of course. <laughs> and then we have more fish. <laughs> and then this goes on and on and on, as you can imagine. <laughs> she was here last December as well. She got loads of uh, like salted cod, so dry. And then we went to Brixton and she saw that they sold it at the shop. She was so upset. She was like, why did I bring this all over? Like, th 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 there's, there's cod everywhere. As a true immigrant, I have a London tattoo and then like a Portuguese tattoo. So it's basically like our most famous poet, as you know, Fernando Pessoa and Amalia, which is a fado singer, which I really like. And I actually did this after my London tattoo. Should have been first. Um, <laughs> truly, I would stay in Lisbon and I would stay in Portugal easily, forever, because it's so easy and so nice. Uh, but I know I want to, you know, I, I want to have my own business. Probably that'll be in Portugal, hopefully. So until then, I just want to like learn as much as I can, do as much as I can before I kind of settle in.